Unraveling the phrase, reel it in, an English idiom explained. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating English phrase that you might have heard in movies, songs, or even in everyday conversation, reel it in. It's a colorful expression with a literal meaning that comes from fishing. But, as with many English phrases, it also has a figurative sense that we often use in different contexts. If you're eager to expand your English vocabulary and sound like a native, stay tuned as we explore this phrase together. When we look at the phrase, reel it in, in its most literal sense, it's all about fishing. To reel means to wind the line back onto the spool, usually by turning a handle. So, when you've cast your line into the water and you're trying to bring a fish closer to you, you reel it in. Imagine you're on a boat or at the shore, you've caught a fish, and it's time to bring it in. What do you do? You start turning the reel, bringing the line, and hopefully, the fish, towards you. This action, winding the line back, is the heart of the phrase. Now, let's explore the figurative meaning, which is where this phrase really becomes a part of everyday language. Reel it in can mean to control, reduce, or limit something. It's often used when someone is displaying extreme emotion or behavior, and they need to moderate it. For example, if someone is very excited and they're getting carried away, you might tell them to reel it in as a way of saying, calm down, or don't get too ahead of yourself. It can also be used if someone is talking too much or going off topic. Let's reel it in and focus on the main point. To help you understand how to use reel it in in context, here are a few examples. In a meeting, we've got a lot to cover today, so let's reel it in and focus on the agenda. During a debate, I understand you're passionate about this topic, but you need to reel it in so we can hear other opinions. In personal situations, you're getting really upset about this. Maybe it's time to reel it in and think about it calmly. By using it in various situations, you'll get the hang of when and how to use this versatile phrase. Let's do a quick exercise. Think about a situation where someone might need to reel it in. How would you use the phrase? Try to create your own sentence and say it out loud. Practicing like this will make the phrase a natural part of your English expression repertoire. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, reel it in. We hope you now feel confident in both understanding and using this phrase in your daily English. Remember, idioms like this can add color and depth to your language skills, making you sound more like a native speaker. So go ahead, try using reel it in in a conversation today and see how it goes. Thank you for watching and we hope this video has been enlightening. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more useful English language tips. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.